Welcome back, everyone. On today's episode of Duty and Valor, you'll hear the story of a man who had to take on the role of family provider at a young age. A man who, instead of waiting to be drafted, made the decision to enlist and fight for his country. A man who volunteered for a dangerous mission, which allowed his unit to achieve its objective. This is the story of Medal of Honor recipient U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Jack Pendleton. Jack was born on March 31, 1918 in Sentinel Butte, North Dakota, to parents Grover and Dora Pendleton. In 1928, when he was just 10 years old, the family moved to Yakima, Washington. Three years later, their father Grover died on Christmas Day, leaving Dora, Jack, and his brother Kenneth to support the family. Jack worked part-time at a grocery store and found work in the orchards around his home. Before he was able to complete high school, he was forced to drop out and work full-time. In 1942, Jack and his brother moved to California to work at a sawmill, but he joined the Army in July of that year. He completed basic training at Fort Lewis before receiving advanced infantry training at Camp Claiborne in Louisiana. Assigned to the 120th Infantry Regiment, 30th Infantry Division, he proved to be more than a competent soldier and had attained the rank of Staff Sergeant by the time he and his unit left for Europe in 1944. By October of that year, the Allied forces had advanced further west and were now fighting the Germans on their own ground. On October 12th, Sergeant Pendleton was part of Company I as it approached the German town of Bardenburg, just seven miles from the Belgian border. Sergeant Pendleton and the other men of the company had made it about two-thirds of the way through the town before they faced heavy German resistance and were pinned down by a machine gun. The Germans had placed this machine gun, which was protected by a second gun, at a strategic point at an intersection, where it could fire against approaching soldiers from multiple directions. Casualties were mounting as many attempts were made to destroy the machine gun, but all proved unsuccessful at least not until Sergeant Pendleton volunteered to lead his squad on another attempt. With Sergeant Pendleton 10 yards ahead of anyone else, the men crawled approximately 130 yards across an area that provided very little cover. It was at this point that Sergeant Pendleton was hit by machine gun fire and his leg was seriously wounded. Despite this, he ordered his men to halt their advance and he continued forward alone, armed with only hand grenades. He made slow progress, but he was eventually able to get within 10 yards of the gun. His attempt to neutralize the gun was unsuccessful when a burst of machine gun fire hit him, killing him instantly. While Sergeant Pendleton was making his advance on the gun position, another squad had joined his, and they were able to maneuver unseen to a point where they could destroy the gun. Due to his selfless act, he was credited with saving many lives and his company was able to eliminate all resistance in the town and push the remaining Germans further west. For his actions that day, Staff Sergeant Jack Pendleton was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor, with his mother Dora receiving the medal on March 15, 1945. Sergeant Pendleton was first buried in Belgium, but in October 1947, his body was returned to Yakima, where it now rests at the Tahoma Cemetery. Staff Sergeant Pendleton's legacy lived on. In 1948, the U.S. Army acquired the Victory ship SS Mandan Victory and renamed it the Sergeant Jack J. Pendleton. It was later acquired by the U.S. Navy and it kept its name until it was decommissioned in 1973. On a battlefield in Bardenburg, Staff Sergeant Jack Pendleton faced impossible odds but chose to face them head on. His selfless sacrifice saved the lives of his men and ensured victory that day. And it speaks to one's character when they would put the lives of the men around them before their own. Thank you for listening to this episode of Duty and Valor. To read more about this week's hero, check out the sources used in today's episode in our show notes and at dutyandvalor.com. If you want to listen to our episodes early, we release new episodes on our YouTube channel of the same name on Fridays at 5 p.m. Also on our channel, we release daily YouTube shorts that highlight our nation's heroes, most of whom haven't been featured on our show yet. Be sure to like, follow, and share our episodes. 
And please join us for our next episode where we'll be sharing the inspiring story of another American hero who served with pride and lived with humility.